Imagine a city where most functions and services, from traffic management to utilities, are optimized by artificial intelligence. What would it look like? And most importantly, is this future a boon or a bane? But don't be mistaken. This isn't just a question for the distant future. Elements of this AI-led city are already with us today. AI is already transforming how we handle traffic. It's the intelligence behind apps like Waze and Google Maps, predicting and rerouting traffic in real time, preventing congestion, and making your commute more efficient. Consider utilities. Google's DeepMind AI has already been used to reduce energy consumption at data centers. Picture this on a larger scale. Smart streetlights, buildings auto-regulating their temperature, an adaptive power grid optimizing energy distribution in real time. Today we have Roombas cleaning our floors. Tomorrow we could have AI-driven bots picking up city trash and managing recycling. It's a future where city services are automated and optimized, making our cities cleaner and more efficient. Okay, but at first, let's get back to the present and address the elephant in the room, ChatGPT. I'm sure all of you are pretty familiar with this name. It has already changed how we interact with technology, generating human-like text, copywriting, answering queries, writing script, content creation, and even coding. Imagine an extension of this AI integrated into every aspect of our life. But along with the promise come potential problems. Job displacement due to automation, privacy concerns arising from pervasive data collection, and the risk of bias in AI decision-making. Even today, these are issues we're grappling with. The future might hold AI assistants that know your preferences so well they can predict your needs, or AI-driven smart homes that manage everything from temperature control to grocery shopping. But how much of our autonomy and privacy are we willing to trade for convenience? And how far is too far? Do we want an AI that could predict our actions before we make them, or decide what job we should have? The balance between efficiency and empathy, convenience and privacy, is a delicate one. As we ponder whether the AI-influenced city is a boon or a bane, remember this. The AI-driven city of the future is already taking shape. The question is, what do we want it to look like, and how do we want to live in it? The answer is up to us.